welcome back to the last episode of Centre Stage. This has been your hub for everything going on during the FIFA Women's World Cup, presented by JD Sports. That has been. Is, is, that has. It's oh. so sad. I'm Chris, obviously, your host. Samuel. My co-host Samuel. Last time sitting on this couch together. How are you feeling? I mean, it's sad that it's come to an end, but what a way to end the, end the tournament. And, Absolutely. And I couldn't be happier to... To share this last episode with you, Chris. My best friend. That's it's a great it. moment. And of course, <laughs> of course, we have Emma here on the last episode. The goat. The goat, Emma. Star girl. She didn't quite take my spot. She nearly did. <laughs> so, so we're going to miss having you here, Emma, but mm. welcome again. Thank you. Um, and next to Emma, we have Chilean international and Ooh. Optus Sports expert. Sheesh. The amazingly talented Cote Rojas. Woo! <laughs> so good to have you here. What a guest to what have a guest. on the last episode. Yeah. No, thank you guys for having Having me, yeah, so, it's great to so be, good to be here sharing football. That's exactly. it. Exactly. Do you want to quickly go through a comment? Comments. Yeah. There's a comment before? because, I mean, you can still like, share, subscribe. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Because there's obviously more content coming out after this. Yeah. Other football related stuff. You know, the regular let them shoot episodes. But the comment I wanted to go through was obviously uh, you could just guess who it's from. Can it? Is Go it, try. Maybe, is it Coda? Yes. Maybe? But this comment yeah. was actually really great. Um, he said he must have commented this before the last episode. Yep. On the last episode, though. But he said only two episodes left. Devastating loss, but what a ride it's been so far. Appreciate the shout, but it's not hard to get up if you know the quality football that's being played. Also, I've been telling people to come to the let em shoot side. Can yeah. say I've successfully converted a few. Oh, go. I've got some new let em shoot people. I love it. That's it. What a guy, honestly. But yeah, guys, like, share, subscribe. Get in the comments. Talk about what the next series that you want to see. Yeah. Anything, anything that comes to your mind, let us know. Absolutely. Um, the World Cup is over, which oh. is sad. But let's let's talk about the, the winners, the champions. The champs. Spain, they become the second team to have the men and women win a, a World Cup, which is, is pretty cool. Um, so how do we feel? For Emma, what were your thoughts on the game? I think Spain deserved <clears throat> to win in the end. It was definitely a good reflection of them in the tournament overall. I think England, it just didn't feel like they were really in the game definitely. too much. Like they were just being dominated. But I think it was still really cool for them to be in the final. Like they deserved to be there. I think it was a very good a very good representation of the tournament overall. But yeah, I thought it was a great game. Yeah. Kostya, what, what did you think about the game? Look, I was there. So, Amazing. And um, to experience not just the game, but... um. What um what um what an event you know we we saw years and, and and yesterday, and for me I think the game Spain deserved to win and I think football won yesterday. Uh, we saw how well they've been playing the whole tournament, um the combinations the uh, how they play in more most of the position you know and how they attack into or towards to the ball in the third, um I hit well before they score even. But, you know, like yesterday, we just saw great football, great quality. Yep. Didn't see much, you know, England. Um, I, I thought, you know, they were a little bit, uh, they didn't know what to do, um, uh, how, how, how they were um, uh, setting the defending, the defensive line. It was a little bit, you know, um, um, not much communication, but it, yeah. even there, you know. It felt a bit know, unorganized at times. Yeah. yeah, at times, because I think, you know, with the Spain attacking, um, from the wingers, it's really tough because they are quick players yep. and they move really well. So, yeah, look, again, I think Spain deserve it. Definitely. And, uh, we saw, like, um, what a what a great game and quality football. Definitely. I think it was a Spanish masterclass. Like, Definitely. they outplayed, outclassed England and they had no answer for it. And yeah. even, like like you said, the wingers, you know, they were doing so well. But I thought the wingbacks were extremely impressive. Obviously, Olga scoring the goal as well. But they just had class coming from every single place on the pitch and England didn't know what to do with it. What were your thoughts on the game? I mean, it's it's much of the same really from Spain. It was minus one hiccup against Japan. Yeah. That feels like a lot. It feels yeah. like so long ago, but minus that one hiccup, they've been the best team this tournament. Yeah, they definitely. fully deserve to win. And yesterday they showed again how quality they are, how good they are. Especially one thing that was extremely surprising, they defended so well, especially while pressing, 
because I felt like in the Australia game, Australia sat too far deep and let England, let England play, let England yeah. play and, and, and pin Australia back. Whereas Spain <coughs> didn't let that happen. They pressed high. Yeah. The English defenders and centre-backs were losing the ball a lot more than they had been the whole tournament. Yeah. And then even at the end, when England were starting to get chances, of course it's going to happen when you're 1-0 up in a World Cup final. So England were pressing, trying to get chances, trying to score, but Spain defended extremely strong and England didn't even look like they were going to score. They did have a couple of chances, so I think one crossbar. Early, yeah. yeah. Early, so that, yeah. That, Early. that could have changed the whole course of the game. Exactly. changed the game, you know, and um, I think, look, England tried, but they kept putting the ball behind the defenders yeah. and they, the forwards were not there, you know. Like, yeah. mm. how can you, like, they, they didn't even look quick. Yeah. In Spain, what they did, they were dropping before even they were kicking the exactly. ball. Yeah. So one player, one defender was already dropped completely yeah. and three in front. So they were extremely organized, disciplined. Um, the, the, the passing, the combinations, the triangle they, they create. Mm. It looked like they were playing like rondos. You know, like yeah, yeah just for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't know how sometimes they've, they did find ways to get out of the tight, the tight spaces. spaces. Tight Sometimes spaces. I'm like, why are you playing out of there? And they do it. I'm like, they okay, do. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So there, was, there was one actually on the left side. They played um, like a little triangle, yeah. the yeah. pass to Selma. I know exactly. The little the touch one. and she was away. I Her think cross everyone wasn't good in the end. That one. Yeah. That, like, the they're just so good. And I just want Emma to speak about Bon Matty for a second. <laughs> what, like, she was untouchable. Every single mm. thing she did was perfect. Her touch, her passing, she got that really good shot away. Like, you said it from day one, how bloody good is she? Yeah, I'm proud like, to say I called it from the yeah, start. Yeah, Emma knows You called no, it. But, I did say Emma knows to be more. fair, I think, like, from the first game she played, like, we knew yeah, here we go. that she was going to, yeah. you know, have a great tournament. Um, <clears throat> honestly, every time she got the ball, I was excited. Like, Me I was too. like, what's she going to yeah. do? Because, yeah. like, even if, like, I feel like even if, you know, she was to turn and play forward under pressure – most players like play back, pl play back and play it safe, but she yeah. would still find a way to play forward, but safely and just like the touch of class every time. Like she set her teammates up so well. I honestly don't know if Spain would be in this position if, if I it totally wasn't for agree. her on yeah. the field. Like I think the impact she has on the team and just the class that she has, whether it's defending, like working back or going forward, like both. I think she's such an all-rounded player and just, yeah, those like little details that she had really were on show, but I thought it was interesting. Sorry, just to go back on... England, like they had the formation change at half time, and yeah. Spain were able to just like adapt instantly. Straight like it away. was like yeah, even that didn't really phase them. Like it didn't look like a transition period where oh England sorted it out now. Like it was it was just Spain the whole and time. It, it took I think almost the whole half for Lauren James to actually like get the ball. Yeah. And she was dropping right down to her defensive mm. third she to get deep. the ball and yeah. try like and narrow yeah. exactly. They just yeah. they couldn't do do anything. Um, who who else stood out for you in the game, Cote? Oh, I think uh, going back to Von Marty. Um, just, um, I think for me, it's, um, and I was saying earlier, um, her brain, her football brain and, and, you know, um, moved to Barcelona, you know, when she was 14, um, obviously, you know, she had the opportunity to have great coaches as well, but she's not just talented. She, she thinks she knows. She's got to that be. football brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, she's always. Like um, a step ahead. Her, it's her, like she's two she, steps ahead of any other exactly. player around her at all times. I mean, she's only 25, I think. Yeah. And, um, you know, <coughs> she knows what to be. She's aware of uh, of the space of the field. Uh, when she doesn't get the ball, she comes deep to receive that ball and get involved somehow. She's the one one of the top players, uh, Spain players, um, most involved in the game, yep. usually. Uh, but also the ability of attacking and come and help the defensive mm. line. So yeah. I think for me, not just the technique part, it's just uh, her her mindset, her brain, but also her um, ability of of stay hungry. Like she yeah. wants it yeah. so badly and she it's encouraged like it. It's in, you know, extra yeah. time and she, or in injury time and she's still – you know, working so hard and like mm. trying to make those passes, make those tackles. She's she was always just in the perfect class. spot. Like she would always be free in a like in a pocket perfectly. And I loved like there was a time where Salma got the ball out wide, and I was like top of the box, and Salma's cross. Like it was just it wasn't it wasn't perfect. I yeah. guess you yeah. could say like it was it wasn't high enough to get over to her. And you could see she was like just demanding better. But like that's what you'd want from and a that, player like her. Like 100%, I think it's like that's who you want you around. You. Like it's yeah. I think she really brings out the best in every single person on the field around her. She yes. Does. And Pep Guardiola was talking about oh, her. I oh my god! What a compliment! Yes. I know. What a compliment! I mean, look, it's um um you know for her um she's 
Bon Mati and she should be Bon Mati and, exactly. and everyone should be like, oh, I would love to be Bon Mati. Yeah. But mm. I think Pep Guardiola, was he trying to say, it's like for people, obviously, who don't know Unaware. the game yeah. so yeah. well, she is like Iniesta, yeah. you know, like the Iniesta in women's and it's, the, the, it's the comparation comparison there. It's, it's, I think, a great compliment to, to let people know and make them understand because yeah. she's actually... And put her name out her there, make sure everyone knows yeah, who she is. Yeah. At her age, you know, and, and the tournaments, how many tournaments she has won already back in Spain, including Champions League. Yeah. Um, it's just unreal. And I think, you know, she's going to lead, I think, a good generation there. Yeah. Definitely. And she mm-hmm. said in her little post-match thing just how you know, how far they've come in the past four years, like exactly. all the the politics that they had to go through and how much the team has progressed in such a short amount of time. It's it's incredible. Who else stood out for you in the game? Uh, I think early on, Selma looked, she looked really good. She very was very dangerous. dangerous. And yeah. I think keeping the England back line, keeping them like aware and, mm. and, and ready the whole game and not letting them settle. I feel as though they looked, they yeah, looked they really look shaky because they never, for the whole 90 minutes, they didn't get to settle because mm-hmm. when she would come short, she's too strong to hold the ball up, yeah. link up. And then when they play in behind, she's so quick that she can get onto anything. Yeah. And I feel like she's a bit unlucky not to score. She had that yeah. one flash yeah. across the goal where I think obviously she should have done better. Definitely, yeah. mm-hmm. But she was so dangerous for the whole game. And to me, she looked so good. Definitely. Um, let's talk about the penalty for a second. Um, I think it was a definite handball. Me too. I don't know why the ref looked at it for so long. 45 minutes. I was like, yeah. dull. She's moved her hand. Like it was to me. Anyway, she's the ref, but you know, they yeah. called it. Um, probably not the best penalty from, from Jenny, but I'm a bit confused. Did anyone else think that Mary Earps was off her line when she jumped or was that just me? No, she moved uh, earlier yeah. to the side, but not out. Like she stayed she there. But if I was Jenny, I mean, Look out, you miss penalty, that happens. And I think she didn't she stick she stick with the um with the right side. Mm. Yeah. She was already going she was to the exactly right. yeah. maybe she so should have tried to get it. Obviously across. you have two options. You look where the goalkeeper goes first, or yeah. you just go and stick with your side. Yeah. And but I she think what she did, better, you know, yeah. a little bit harder, obviously. It was a little bit soft and and look, Jenny's good quality. I mean, I have seen her um well, many times and uh, She's a friend of my, you know, teammate in Europe, and and we know she she brings the quality yep. and the experience, you know, thirty three years old. And yesterday, if she would have scored that penalty, <laughs> she wouldn't be, I think, uh, breaking the record for the oldest oh, really? player scoring in a final World Cup. Wow. Oh wow! I think Kali Law is holding that record. Yeah, um, mm. Rapino, two thousand nineteen. Yep. Either Kali Loy or Rapina, so she, she would have she done it. it. Yeah. Mm. But look again, I think she's Wasn't been fantastic. Be. I think she yeah. was the bronze um um she was rewarded yesterday, one of the best players as well. Nice. On FIFA. Yeah. 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 One thing that that like surprised me so much is how many forward runs she makes in behind. She just yeah. she yeah. doesn't stop. Even the ninetieth minute, the eighty eighth minute, she's making runs in behind between the two centre backs, getting the ball in behind and and I think when you have someone like that that can stretch the back yeah. four or back yeah. five for England, it's it's so she, handy. She won the Adidas Silver Bow Award. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I so didn't know they that. have the Adidas Golden Bow Award. Yeah. That's uh Bon Mati. Yeah. And then the Silver Bow Award, Jenny Hermoso, and Adidas Bronze Bow, that was Amanda from Sweden. Oh, oh. Mm. oh there you yeah. go. I didn't yeah. know they did Less like good. a one, two, yeah. three. Amazing. Yeah, that's um, good. I just as well, just again about Spain, I just think we should talk about them all day, but just the ability of their wing backs to get up, like make so many attacking runs and the way that they get back into shape is so impressive. Like you're like, okay, they've lost the ball here, but somehow they just managed to get compact again and they just win the ball and they just – you couldn't put – they didn't put a foot wrong yesterday. Yeah. I think it was just – Can't fault the performance class. at all. Yeah. Exactly. And look, uh, I have played against uh, Barcelona, which is really similar. Uh, you know, Barcelona or well, Real Madrid, they, they, they grow up with the same style and what they want to – they want the players or how they want the players – on the field and the whole idea i think and how they, it's all about is the movement of the ball how they do explain how the players over there move off the ball is what make the difference yeah. because someone who is playing winger on the left if she moved inside immediately someone Someone's else is covering that space, space. Yeah. space so 
when I play well, Barcelona, you know, it's another amazing team. Spain has majority players from Barcelona, yeah. Real Madrid, and, and again, they r replicate the same thing, and you know, and to see that, that's not easy. That takes training, Definitely. and they've been building a thing now for a little bit more than four years. You know, a lot of players now are out of the national team, but imagine what would it be if they also they, wouldn't be part of this, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, this is, this is a great generation, but they have come so far, and, and, and I think the work that they have done, these players, I think they so deserve it. The Definitely. style of Agreed. football shows and proof that is a, you have to have the brain as well. Yeah. Exactly. You can have the physicality, mm -hmm. and it's important to go to the gym, it's important to lift, it's important to get stronger, but I think it comes to how if smart you, don't you are. you have the mentality. Age. Yeah, definitely. And I think sure. that's It's that's scary to yesterday. see how good they're going to be. Also, <laughs> next World Cup. like special mention, they've won the under 17 and of under course, 20 yeah. and all in the same cycle, which is like it's such amazing. a big testament. And I yeah. think like, yeah. that's unreal. I was going to say the other player who was, I think for me, um, um, really, really, like, outstanding, it was Paruelo. Yeah, mm, definitely. Like, it's just uh, crazy to think that she's only 19. She's only 19. But the she has won yeah. the yeah. <laughs> 17, <laughs> yep. 20, and now the, the senior. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I young mean, player of the tournament 19 as well. years old. Like, you like it to have to comprehend. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like it to go to the World Cup. Yeah. And score she's in a quarterfinal, score in a semifinal, make such an impact in the grand you know, final. Like, or you um, won a Champions wow. League as well. Like, yeah. yeah. People Jesus. would say how lucky. I mean, you know, the work that she has done and, and the talent she has for 19 years old, the youngest player in the tournament, uh, well, she, she's the youngest, uh, the best player, the young best player yesterday so i think you know she was i think for me outstanding uh, she's a quick player she needs to grow she's and only gonna get, get better more. as well and, and that's Mutual. why people yep. thinking you know definitely well how far is she gonna go yeah. yeah but coming from you know spain and europe where they live they eat they, they sleep it's yeah. everything you know, it's everything like how can you get you know how can you know improve and yeah and i totally. think that the the biggest mistake um, in some countries, and I'm coming from Chile, where you guys here, I think it's, it's to think and limit ourselves or to think that when you reach and when you get so good, there's nothing else. Yeah. And I think that's something, that our mentality that we have to change because there's so much out there, like so much to improve, so much to grow. There is no limitations for me. I, yeah. I think, and, and this you saw it yesterday with Spain, you know, they were doing so well the whole tournament. Probably yesterday, they could have, things could have gone wrong or they, if they didn't play the game that well, we would have said, well, you know, they didn't deserve it. But to be honest, the whole tournament, they were They put same. one foot wrong the whole and, tournament and, and now. Like, exactly. And Bon Mati said it. For us, was yes, we play with the flair, we play tiki-taka sometimes, yep. mm -hmm. but that comes with the competitive mindset. 100%. And yep. she said it. If we, we talk about so much competitive, if you're not competitive, no matter the football you play, yep. you have to be exactly. competitive. Exactly. You have to go out there and win and deal into just where I'm going to win the ball. Yep. So, and that sh they show that the whole tournament. And you could and tell to be able all the players that, had that mindset hard. as well. Yeah. So the tournament is over now, which is a little bit sad, but how do we feel after the last month? I just, oh. I don't know. I it's don't, crazy. It's, it's like you, you just have to go back to normal life again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's not football every I don't night. Not watch or it's every yeah. week, yeah. you know? <laughs> like they're at the best times. You could just sit at home and relax and watch and you go to work you come home there's games on you watch games before you go to work it yeah. was just i don't know the lifestyle that it was for this month was <laughs> just the best I don't go back and to i'm sad life. that yeah it's 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 changing yeah <laughs> it's um it's oh, like we've been saying at this whole show just how special this tournament has been and the support and everything like i was just talking about it with my husband last night when we were watching the game just whoever gets the next world cup there's a standard now and mm. it has to be met. There has to be, you know, a country who's willing to to back, you know, the women and have full stadiums and make sure that this is a standard from now on because it, this has been indescribable, you know, the support that Unreal. the women have had. And it's just even like seeing last night just the clips of like in Madrid and all places in Spain mm. where they had fan sites. Like that's just – that's incredible. How do you feel after the World Cup, Emma? Yeah, what is the quote? Like, don't don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been obviously like 
like every World Cup, like, you know, you're watching and it's like the best thing ever and then it's done and as you said, Samuel, like you just, to go back to normal uh, life. But yeah. I think this World Cup's like, we, you say the standard, like now it has to get even better like that. This is the standard here. I hope next World Cup we break even more records. And Absolutely. Like, yeah, this has been great, but now we need to get even better again. So, yeah, I think for me, like every team has had such a special story, no matter what, like how, well, besides some teams that yeah. <laughs> underperformed, but, well, <laughs> but like- It happens. But, I think every but team that story's had, like, special too. Exactly, yeah. it's still part but of their the character. Yeah, 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 exactly. So no matter what happened in every single game, there was still something special that happened. That's got people, that's got people talking, people that have been able to relate to things, like really brought people together, whether mm-hmm. it's a conversation or, or whatever. So I think it's, the way it's brought everyone together, I haven't and experienced just something like that. The level of football, the, the standard level, the quality of, of the game, it's, yeah. it's nice to hear people like we've been saying people that don't watch football have been watching and they're like, the women are bloody good. I'm mm. like, yeah, <laughs> the level of football is is incredible. It's the, incredible. The, the quality of goals that have been scored, yeah. the play, like everything. It's just. Like we said, the physicality, like these yeah. women don't give a shit. They're they just, don't yeah. care about their they bodies. They do not care. It's just, it's been incredible. It's like Gote, how do you feel game. after the World oh, Cup? Oh, look, for me, this is special. This is one of the best World Cup I have ever seen. Um, good for Australia. Good for the Matildas. Um, it makes me happy for you guys. I've been here eight years. And and, and what an amazing, and, and for me to witness um, this tournament from... Or on the other side, yeah. it's been great, you know. Um, about numbers, obviously, we can be talking about numbers. You know, it was the the, the most fans at the stadiums. Yep. Uh, the Astra- Australian broke their record attendance for yep. women's football match, equalized it twice. New Zealand broke their records attendance. I think every New game they was were exactly, yeah. exactly, you know, that was men's, yeah. and, yeah. and, and, men's women's. and women. You yeah. know, yeah. they yeah. got the first win. You know, it was, um, we had the longest penalty. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh Ever. my God. In one crazy. game, 20. And then, you know, we have um, all these amazing moments. Uh, the most viewer, I think uh, it was the most uh, the Australian. Yeah. Australian sport mm. yep. watch on TV. And that shows, and I think it proved that women's, we, we we sell. I mean, we yeah. can you know we people we buy what 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 we, what we exactly. put out there, yeah. and I think mm-hmm. not just the quality, but this World Cup taught us so much about the style of football, the cultures, because we know Australia is a multicultural country, yeah. and it united all of us. Like Everyone. it united somehow, you know. And I have to mention Morocco. What an amazing, what an amazing yeah. team, yeah. yes, nation, but also the fans. Like they yeah. were amazing, amazing. Yeah. Are they like I had to be um, at the game at Coopers in yeah. Adelaide, and they didn't stop singing, and and, and, <laughs> and the amazing. passion they yeah. had, the players. It was really entertainment. They are the attacking part going yeah. forward and no actually parking the bus. So yeah. you see this. You love to see teams come and be brave like exactly. that. Yeah. And you see these nations, they were the first time at the World Cup and they play against Germany. Yeah, Germany yep. beat them One of the really best. bad. Amazing. But you yeah. know what? They didn't practice us. They stick with their style. Exactly. We are going to go and, you know, we are going to keep trying to score. Yep. And they did and they advanced to the second stage. I mean, 16 round. Amazing. And that was for me something that... I was like, you know, there is no limit again, but these teams coming from probably no much support, no much tools, no many opportunities. Yeah. Well, Some Jamaica of them as play well. yep. in Europe, you know, Jamaica's also yep. been building and developing and now those players are in big in big leagues like in the United States. But so many moments like Colombia, uh, mm. which I'm very proud because they came to this tournament a little bit, not a little bit more prepared, but prepared, you know, and they knew the physicality it was one part they need to improve because they, they had the football. They did. definitely And they did, they right? And that was, yeah. yeah. be proud of that. And yeah. then, you know, you have the, again, the Matildas, uh, something that they, what a ride what they, they took did, us on, huh? <laughs> it was unreal. It was unreal. I don't think another country has done what they did with this country. Yeah. And I think, yeah, besides the result and what happened, People are proud, you know, boys and girls, and and, exactly. and and that's what we want. We want the the youngest to actually not just get educated, to get passion, to get mm-hmm. motivated, yep. to yep. play. If you don't play the game, good, but you know, yeah, you know, you support him. Has a fan, has a player, has a sport man, woman, girl, yep. boy, to anyone. I think it brought all of that, and and nobody was poor. You play. People were Everyone there. Everyone was yeah. supporting. Yeah. You know, and I think that's, for me, so this is going to be one of the best. Yeah, definitely. Um, just quickly talk, let's just have a quick little recap of the Matildas' third, fourth playoff. Like I said last week, I don't really love that game. And I think having a three-day turnaround, the girls looked 
tired. It's so hard to bounce back, especially after They've something so devastating. Like, yeah, emotionally yeah. as well. It's They've more. I think it's more so mental than, yeah. well. yeah. than anything. I think trying to bounce back after you you get knocked out in the biggest game of your life, and then, and then you, you have to go play. Then you like, have to go and <laughs> yeah. And I mean. It's it's not as though they didn't show up. They yeah. they were there, but it just it felt as though the game was like it was a, almost aimless. It, it felt as though the real the real competition had already had already ended, and, yeah, and the game was just they had to be there. Yeah, Emma, any thoughts on that that third fourth playoff? Yeah, I think obviously it would have been lovely to come away with a medal. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I've like kind of put that aside and just like when you step back from wanting to win and just yep. wanting to be the best, you're kind of like, wow, like that was unbelievable overall. Like you can, I'm so proud of to be like Australian and be part of, part of what the Matildas got to do, regardless of whether we got a medal. They or, still medal made or history not. regardless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now like reflecting on it and you can look back on it, you're kind of like, yeah, they didn't win. And that was the goal all along, but they also <clears throat> like achieved another goal of inspiring the nation. And I think they exceeded their expectations in that too. So yeah, I think like it was almost like we didn't get a medal. We got a different type of medal. Mm. I love yeah. that. <laughs> so positive. And honestly, like th- what? No, it, it's great. <laughs> I'm not, not going to be world is right crazy. Now. That, that's yeah. amazing. Like, and not only just what they did as, as a whole, the team, but just individual players, like so many clubs want to sign Cooney Cross. Now there's players that have played so well that from their careers, they can, you know, just grow from here. They're and like it's amazing now. Like, exactly. just like, it's just the norm. And Claire so Hunt cool. in that game was phenomenal. And she's been phenomenal all tournament. Yeah, and unfortunately. props to her. Like, I really hope that, you know, she just keeps progressing in her career and just, yeah, to so many move. positives to take out. Any thoughts on that game? Um, it's a game that I was, uh, well, I was coming to, I was going to Sydney. I was actually, um, just, uh, trying to make it and watch it with friends. Um, for me, again, um, I did watch it. Obviously, I want them to win for them because I know how hard it is to just um, um, the work. I know well. You guys also know that, and and you know, been through a lot of things and how much they have um, uh, worked for it. So it's it's a recognition when you win yep. something, you know, and and you receive that award. It's, it's like wow, you know, we have done and we have worked so hard for this, but. Sometimes you don't get that, and mm. and and, and yeah. that's I think is 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 the it's the next the next level, and I'm sure they will, and they have talked about it. They wanted to have that, but I'm sure you know they will be now. Well, we gotta keep going, and yeah, I think definitely. this is just a start, and it can only get better mm-hmm. from here. Definitely, because the impact they had, I think it's it's, it's gonna help the A League. It's gonna help the clubs, social clubs, the community, the um, every single state, you know, around this country in this country. And I think personally, for me, I think it's hopefully, you know, it keeps improving, especially the leagues, because Definitely. I don't think only the uh, Matilda's players are gonna have the opportunity to go Europe. Yeah. I think it's gonna come now with the A League. With the A League p- yes. people come yeah, like we're seeing parts scouting of it now. you know, in the A League and yeah. stuff like that. It's amazing. They've done such an amazing thing for football in Australia, football in the world. It's just been – it's been phenomenal watching them. And, like, it's a bit emotional just seeing the journey that they took us on this whole tournament. And, like, their little fan day in Brisbane, like Nikki Webster coming out to see. Yeah. It was so random. But, Unreal. you know, seeing it's so the nice. the joy on the players' faces They were just like so really happy cool. regardless. Yeah. And I think they're – like you said, regardless of what's happened, like, they just must all feel so proud of what they've done for this country and – it's just amazing. Um, we're just going to play the white little whiteboard game. Just go through some like highlights of the tournament. You know, we'll just ask some a few questions. questions. All right. We're going to ask a few. I'm going to ask a few questions. Write your answer down on the whiteboard. Um, and then some of them we'll do all at once. Others I might ask one by one. Let's see how we go. All right. First question, player of the tournament. Tell me who you think was your player of the tournament. It doesn't have to be who won the award, although it can be. It has to be big. Uh, yeah. Well, I have two. You can put two. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? No rush if you're not ready. That is fine. Yeah. Emma, Samuel, ready? I'm ready. We'll all we'll flip at the same time. One, two, three. Well, I mean, little love hearts on yeah. the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's pretty clear. I don't think there's anyone that 
you know, we were actually talking about this. That's a great shout. If she mm. didn't get the red card, it's crazy to think what the yeah. tournament she could have is. Done. It's very different, the award, if she oh, doesn't yeah. get it. She was uh, in a good moment, I think. Yeah. She was just uh, performing really well. And when well, you have the team, obviously, it's easier, but she's just very special. Definitely. Like, very, special. very special. Her and she's technique. so young. She's only going to get better. And hopefully, mentally, she can sort it out next tournament. And, and she you can know, push more. You definitely. know, that's, that's what I was reading. Like when she was playing for Manchester United. They were, they were not sure. They tried to help her. They were not sure if mentally she wanted to push hard. Yeah, because that very the player that casual she attitude. I mean, she's casual. She's But you know what? Um, she actually made a statement. And, and and I think the coach, especially, you know, she played now playing for Chelsea, they accept her how she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's about, yeah, teaching and obviously yeah. growing. And I'm sure uh, she will get there. But you, you want know what even though like exactly like you know the the, the technique how she moved the ball the passes like she yeah. she's just oh, yeah. and you, you can't teach everything. that you can't teach yeah. that you yeah. can so i think she's very special and i thought the same thing like if he, she wouldn't have that yeah you imagine what yeah, to yeah. Think she we could have like done young player of the tournament like the fact she, she could have been for the player definitely of the tournament. definitely like really cool. cool all right um do you have a ballon d'or pending thank you sir i'll just do you want one? That's all right. I'll just use my hand. Use your hand. Okay. That's it. Well, all right. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Yeah. Have. Oh, here yeah, I have two. There you go. Oh, thanks. One. Cool. All right. Let me just maybe I won't put it there. That looks bad. Okay. I love it. Um, all right. Give me your keeper of the tournament, Oof. please. Oh, that's a. This is a tough. Yeah. 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 I don't even know if that's how you spell it. <laughs> Your jacket. Oh, my jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the, it's always, like those trackies. You know whoosh, what? I whoosh. can't make a decision. Sorry, but I put two. You again. put two? I put, no, I put two as well. Oh, that's fine. Do whatever you want on this show. It's the last episode. Do whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> what is it? Who gets? Who gets? <laughs> you can say one. And yes. Keep All right. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, uh, you ready? Yeah, why not? Oh, I like it. Well, Samuel, I was gonna add. I was gonna add Mary Herbs after just based on last night's performance because mm. she was yeah, she was yeah. phenomenal yesterday. But Mustovic for Sweden this whole tournament has impressed has me so much. And like I said, that one performance against the US is that's enough. enough. Yeah. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. I saw enough. I saw I, enough. I, the only reason I ha- I can't put Mary Herbs down is like that chip against Colombia, like she just had to do better. And even not taking away from Sam Kerr's goal because it was phenomenal, but even then she like was off her line a bit. So I'm like, mm. anyway, I don't really like her that much. So <laughs> I'm like, eh. That's so anyway, nice. Emma? Yeah, I think, yeah, I agree. Like Musovic, she was unreal. Um, but just in general, in game sense, but Mary Epps, I feel like she's such a big part of England's team as well. Like she brings yeah, a lot of the definitely. passion. And, Leadership and as well. Le- yeah, I think she's very smart um, as a keeper. So yeah, those mistakes a bit. Yeah. And but who else did you have got there? Oh, Mackenzie. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. Was she yeah that was a, She had mention. a great tournament. Yeah. And yeah. I think, you know, she uh, she was outstanding when they needed her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And she, yeah. you know, she, she did more than, you know, like good. I think she was the reason, you know, penalty kicks. And, and yes, a lot of players missed, but she was saving so many as well. Mm, yeah. And that's incredible to see a player and, and having – you know her moment, and yeah. I think yeah, I thought that she 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 had a good tournament. Yeah. Every single game, obviously, you always made me say, but um, mistakes you can't you can sometimes yeah, exactly. control. Yeah, it happens. But uh, I think she was great the whole tournament. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Agree, agree. Well done, everyone. And the England one, Mary. Um, all right, let me get my question back up. Oh, that's not my code. You got a long password. I couldn't make it four. I tried to make it four. And now <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not important. Um, four letters, I mean, numbers. Um, next question. This is going to be really hard. I literally have like <sighs> 50 written down here. Goal of the oh. tournament. This is so hard. I actually can't choose. All right. I'm going to write two. Let me just, let me just. I'm writing an essay here. Oh, which one am I going to choose? Oh, okay. I won't okay. do that one. Ready? 
No. <laughs> Not yet. You were you yourself straight away. You should be. <laughs> of course, about goals, you know? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to write My a favorite. different one so we don't have the same. Okay. I, I, I peaked. No copy, no, you guys. No, copy. well, I, I changed it just so it wouldn't have the same. All right. Ready? Yeah. Let's go one by one. Emma? Yeah. Okay. Who's okay. yours? So I chose oh, Sam, but I also did all of them LJs v China because I couldn't. All of them, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> even I think, the one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Lauren like from James, top of the box, yeah. like, yeah. I, and the me, volley as the well. The volley, like, I could watch that a million times. Yeah. But I think, yeah, maybe Sam's yeah. is also a bit of an emotional side, like, in terms of what it meant in the game. Yeah. Like, the fact that she had Caitlin Ford running by her side, yeah. and we were all like, play it. But then yeah. we're like, wait, is she going to shoot? Like, it was so far <laughs> out. Like, and the fact <laughs> yeah. she had the confidence, like, as she to should, just, yes, to be able definitely. to just hit it. I'm like, with Millie Bright and Jess Carter and Alex Green would all right all there. there. She yeah. still hit it. Like, Amazing. I don't know, under pressure, the context of the game. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but I LJ, obviously, yeah. as well. Got there? Oh, Ooh. amazing. Amazing. Yeah. 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 I think Martin in that case, sure. I mean, against Germany, <laughs> she was in probably 10 centimeter space between mm-hmm. the defender. Like, it was so tight inside of the box. And the thought she took yeah. out of yeah. her right foot and Put that, that ball it. in, like yeah, it's in it was just like a, in that angle. Is this is something that you can try, and I think it's your instinct and mm. it's your talent coming. There could be ten keepers in, in the goal moment. and yeah. not saving it. It's, it's, it's like the bins. defenders weren't even there. Exactly, yeah. like they she was yeah. like, yeah. Amazing. I also simple. have. And then Marta Cox. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, like Panama. That uh, freaky. <laughs> what a goal against France. I have to say, yeah. like, she, she's a, <laughs> like a great player. But you know what? Good on them. Like, I was happy for Panama. We were so happy for 20 it's minutes sh- when they were leading after yeah. that free yeah. kick. And then yeah. France came back. Look, yeah. And it's funny because uh, she was crying. Um, her mom passed away last year. Oh, I didn't know that. And um, it was for her, obviously. But I saw so much, um, obviously. Sometimes we don't know about like what's players. going on. And yeah. It's good to know because that shows also how you performance that shows mm. yeah. what is behind and then what are they doing out there. So yeah. that goal, I think it, it means uh, a lot, but it, what a goal against France. That was for me. I could not get over that. I also had Linda Caicedo, but like I said, I had like a 50 written down. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. There was like Abijeda's goal, which I think was like the first real like bomb of yeah. the tournament. There was Sophia Bronze from Argentina. The reason that was probably one of the best, like technically hit on the volley, but Argentina didn't really do that well in the tournament. So I want to write that emotionally Sam Kerr's goal. I just think the moment being there with my best friend, like celebrating the, the what that goal meant in yeah. that moment. Um, like I said, that's the yeah. best feeling what I've, a goal. That's the best yeah. I've ever had. I, I, I was going to say, yeah. but you guys all go yeah. for something, yeah, no, no. but uh, the ability she has. I know. She's the fact, like Emma yeah. said, the confidence to just shoot. Like, like, and to not have trained, like maybe trained like four times the whole <laughs> yeah. tournament and still being able to pull well, she that needs out. Is, like, yeah. Yeah. One chance. Natural. Uh, Samuel. She's natural. Mine was Marta yeah. Cox because yeah. that's one of the greatest free kicks I've 100%. ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. For my whole life, football I've, I've watched my whole life, that's one of the best free from kicks I've ever angle, seen. From every angle, it's... Like, like, and the power behind it from that far out. And yeah. for it to just, it curls so perfectly into the side net. No one like, is ever safe. Oh, man. That Fans is, couldn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. That, was, yeah. that was phenomenal. I don't think anyone could. Yeah. Yeah. Players, that game was in Rio too. What was yeah. the final score? Like 5-3, five, five, three. Three, yeah. 6-3, six, six, maybe. Yeah, yeah, six, three, three, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Good times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Man, like I said, we said, that was so quality of though. goals this tournament. There were so many. So many. Like Even Brazil's, Bon Matis Brazil's as well. The, yeah. Brazil's, oh, of yeah. course. Bon Mati against Norway. Yeah, that was crazy. Cruyff turn and... Yeah. Just casually. Yeah. Just casually. Um, give me your best team performance. So which game oh. you thought a team performed? It can be a group game, whatever, whatever game you like. All right, are we ready? Yeah. All right, we might flip at the same time. One, two, three. We've got yeah. Japan versus Spain. Spain versus England. But love it. Yeah. Uh, Japan versus Spain. Who do you have? Ooh, Colombia versus Germany. Talk yeah. to me. I, love I just game. feel like when I watched that game, that was one of the first times I was like, nah, that that performance is just it, – it deserved – because they scored late, yeah. but to me the performance deserved the win before they scored yeah. late yeah. and – the goal, the header just topped it off. And I think watching Linda Caicedo in that game and her I- individual performance, 
there's there's watching there's the not, celebrations oh, too like yeah not, and the whole and atmosphere people, everything exactly but people were saying no germany has everything to do with why because the numbers right so this world cup was was not just about the numbers it was it was much more than it that in everything. germany yeah. did not have a good game but saying that we give credit to Colombia, yeah, cool, yeah. not just discipline. Played. So but brave as well to come out and yes. play like that against and Germany. kept you know their yeah. style as well. Yeah, and that game was mental because on the other end it was like Morocco was watching it. Yeah, like yes, you know, everyone of was course. watching it, and then as and soon he was as they like, no, final no, no, kick don't off, celebrate yeah, it, you know, like and then the whistle went. Like, we're all like, like yeah. on the TV. <laughs> well, Maya said in like episode three or whatever that Morocco would finish second in the group, and she was yeah, right. She um, <laughs> obviously Japan versus Spain. That game was crazy. Like we were all just in shock that yeah, like Spain had just. I don't know, fallen to pieces and Japan just dominated. But it was like four chances, it was four, four goals. Yeah. I think it was five but shots the on target, goals four were just goals. Like quality, and every like, single oh. goal, well, yeah. I was actually watching all the goals last night to like mm. relive it all, like the yeah. group stages and everything. Yeah. And like Tanaka's goal, like um, yeah. I was like, it was beautiful. oh my God, I forgot how perfect every goal in that game was. And yeah. like we said, it doesn't matter now where Spain is at, but – that game was crazy. Every, I was like, nah, Japan's been the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I every, thought so. That's yeah. why it was sad that Japan was out. Yeah. yeah. And also, well, with, and nice with Spain, I think <laughs> they needed to have that last yep. to be yes. able yeah, to 100%. win this one. Yeah, just bring them back down to earth. Spain yeah. versus England, great, great game. Obviously, yeah. Spain, complete Dominated. domination. I want to chuck in, chuck in Oz v Canada as well. Just oh, yeah, bouncing was, back from... The Nigeria, the Nigeria game. game. I mean, look, like, too many yeah. games. There was yeah. so much I pressure. Know. You can't How pick you ones. No, you, know, you can just pick, well, you know, the most important ones, but so many games. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, young player of the tournament, who you think? Mm. I can't. Oh. Oh my god! Sorry, everybody. All right, three, two. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, sorry, wait. sorry. Oh, are you writing Ready? a book? Three. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. I just, I couldn't go past Selma, especially the impact she made in the the quarters and the semis. That just yeah. should not go unnoticed, and her her um performance in the grand final Samuel oh, Lauren, James. Lauren James I just feel like for that first was like four games yeah. every game we we're turning on the tv to watch yeah, England to watch because her, she yeah. was she was untouchable and she was scoring she was setting up goals and the goal it wasn't that she was just scoring because they weren't just tap-ins they weren't just little scrappy goals because every goal scoring obviously every goal them. counts of and course, in a world cup yeah. it's hard to score but Not the her. goals she was scoring <laughs> yeah. what did she have it she ended up fun. with four or five I think and then the sis as well. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah, so. Crazy. She didn't win player James, of the tournament, but for but me, I feel as though. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Linda Caicedo got there? Yeah, 18 years old. Yeah. <laughs> That's cra- yeah. That is um, crazy. How would she I is? have play against her and then she's just, she doesn't look like 18 years old yeah. in the way she play. Yeah. Put it that way. So I think for me, what she has done in the World Cup, and unfortunately they couldn't, you know, she couldn't keep showcase showcasing that talent yeah, yeah it is obviously sad but she makes football to look so easy yeah, and i think exactly. that was i think for me it was um um really good to see her performing in the world cup even though she got a little bit she struggled with her health mm-hmm. she was you know training but not training and then she yeah. was yeah, yeah her like life's struggling. a movie her life is a movie yeah. we said so, it <laughs> you know um, i think her yeah yeah definitely. emma i think you, you know what, if england win the final who knows? Maybe it could have been LJ. Maybe, like, yeah, so it's yeah true. one of those things where I feel like both of them, yeah, Salma. I feel like the work she did was unreal to be like one of Spain's most important players as well from a young age. But Lauren Definitely. James, like as you say with Linda, like she makes it look so easy. Like Lauren James is walking with the ball, quick turn through three players with yeah, the sideline behind her too. Yeah. So even like she can turn out. Like I don't know, it's such a joy to watch her. All right, give me your best moment of the tournament. Personally, what you thought was the best moment. Best moment. We might go one by one for this one, bit sentimental. 
All right. Are we ready? Emma, give me your best moment of the tournament. I have Amazing. never <laughs> experienced emotion like this yep. with football before. I think, yeah, obviously, like, obviously the fact it's a penalty shootout, it makes it even, like, more intense. Like, a penalty shootout's crazy at the, you know, when it's not at the stake and yep. the length that it was, let alone, you know, what the penalty shootout the girls had to go through was. But, like, seeing the photos, like, after the game, like, their faces and things like that, like, you can't, like, even replicate that. Like, nothing makes you feel that way. Other than this. So I think that would have been a peak moment of their life. I think as I'm well, going to remember players. that for the rest of my life. Like one of those things that like you remember where you were, like things like that. Yeah. The definitely. context of beating France, like the game that it was, like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, Amazing. I'm Got that? Your best moment? I have a lot of moments. Yeah. 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 It's, it's so really to difficult to pick one uh, because we, sh- we should actually talk about also the fans. I mean, those of moments, course, and yeah. they were incredible. Um, Colombian fans, you know, like they never stop dancing. Yeah, it was so fun. fun to I watch. love yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. there are moments that you won't forget yeah. because the way that, you know, made people, made people feel. So Australia, France, the game was um, amazing. I think uh, I remember being at Optus in the studio. We were watching it. It was just after the game, you know, uh, people were crying and, and so many emotions. And I think, it, you know, to witness that, I think for me was was great. And I was very happy. I was a little bit stressed. So, like, I'm like, no, but I, I know that we do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then we have the Colombia against Germany. Um, they made, you know, they made history as well uh, by winning. And then Morocco waiting. So yeah, that m- whole moment was, we was wouldn't, yeah. We wouldn't expect Everything. or think yeah. or yeah. people wouldn't have thought hey yeah, you can't Morocco that. is now gonna go to the next stage no yeah. it was like last last minute where people were like what so German is out now yeah so I think that moment of football changing in a couple minutes seconds yeah it's, it's, it's it means so much that that's, yeah. that's you realize until the whistle you know until yeah. you yeah. blow the whistle the game is, exactly it's, it's not, over. Not, ended, it's not over um for me it was um the penalty shootout versus France obviously um just like you said, you remember where you were. Like I wasn't anywhere spectacular. I was just on the couch with my husband. Mm-hmm. But that moment together, like, mm-hmm. you know, Mac is when she hits the post and then comes back to save the next penalty and like, you know, Courtney Vine stepping up and scoring the celebrations. Like the commentators went quiet there and like Grace Gill's choking up, trying to get the words out. Like it was – I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. Like <laughs> I'll never, ever, ever forget that moment. And to be an Australian, to see the support that – the girls had and just that moment in general was just the absolute best moment of the, the world happiness and, and how proud everyone oh, was exactly. like, like, everyone like, was like now I'm behind them I and, know you and know. they just gained even more support from that yeah and I think amazing you know, that's something again we won't forget for sure I'm definitely. gonna keep the theme going but mine yes. was Maka saving the <laughs> oh, retake oh, yes. because yes. everyone felt the feeling everyone was so excited because she had saved the pen yeah. but then when the to VAR thing's on the screen they're saying oh no she stepped yeah. over the line and then she goes again yeah. saves the pen <laughs> yeah. and then that's the reason we won. So yeah. for me, I think to come back, like you said, after missing a penalty, the confidence that that would, what it would do to your confidence after missing the penalty yeah. to win, to then go on and save the pen and then and the then retake. Yeah. yeah, Amazing. Totally. Phenomenal. Crazy. All right. Um, one more question, I think. Yeah. Last question. Who was your favourite team to watch oh, this tournament? Favourite team to watch. Favourite team to watch. God. Gone too soon, I'm going to say. Um, Let's go all at once for this one. Last question. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Like any team. I any guess. team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So It can be like who you... You know, the best football okay. or it can be like the best vibes, like whatever, yeah, okay. whatever yeah. you, you feel. Okay. All right, ready? Three, two, one. We've got Japan and Spain, Spain, Morocco. I put France and Japan. I'm, I might go first on this one. You know why I loved watching France? Kachawi? No. Yes, oh. literally her. <laughs> yeah. Just they, are, they were so – okay, let's forget the first game. From the Morocco game onwards, they were so techy, some of their mm. players, and – I just loved how psychotic they were. Like Dali, Bacha, like yes. they don't give a crap yeah. about anything. They're like so throwing themselves into tackles. Like 
And just like, and then you got Wendy Renard at the back, who's just like so composed and just like a boss. Like, I don't know. And then we came up to verse them and I was so scared after that previous game. I can't remember who they beat to verse us, whoever it was. Morocco. It, Morocco. Oh, Morocco. Morocco. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah like Daniel. it was just, I don't know, something about France. I was just like, even when they were versing us, I'm just like, like, uh, and good. just like, I don't know, Summer Batch's attitude. Like, I just I love, love it. it. I just loved yeah. watching them play. Um, Emma, Japan and Spain. Yeah, Japan, I feel like. They're fo- like when they were at their best, like their football was unbelievable. I can't even deal. Miss like, them so I, much. I still soon. think about it. I still Gone think about. Soon. I still think about <laughs> June Endo on the left with like finesse to play into the yeah. middle, like just things like that. I just that's like what you're sp- like. It's like how I aspire to play. Like so, yeah. to watch that, I was like, wow. And then Spain, of course. Like I've always loved Spain. I think we spoke about it in the early episodes, like yeah. Japan v like Japan or Spain is going to be in the final. Like yeah. we've been speaking one same of them from two day one. Yeah, we've been saying from day one. Yeah. So yeah, how I love beautiful, it. How you know, Japan also play. But the technique of the technique of the players, oh, you know, I got. A, I was fortunate to play in Japan uh, one year, and uh, the work that those players do, uh, it's um, like very like amazing. Like it's it's something that you get there and you see players that are not big, they are mm. not tall, but, but yeah, they don't need to be. Technically, yeah. they are. Is spectacular. Like, I don't know how you pronounce that word, but that spectacular. Was yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was spectacular. spectacular, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, yeah, like I was enjoying them and, and I was sad they were out, mm. I have to yeah. say. But for me, I have two moments. I think, well, best team, Spain. I think the way they play and they show also that, again, they don't need to be big. They don't need to, they, they, they players, they athletes and they play football. And yeah. football, you know, it's, it's, it's- So good to watch. Exactly. And then I think, the combinations again, the the quality of players, and 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 it's not one player. Yeah, it's exactly. everyone. Every twenty three players. I'm yeah. talking about no eleven, but twenty three. Anyone can do the job, and anyone is is able with the technique that they have yeah. to do anything. So for me, that's you know, I think very very good. And then Morocco because it was really fun when they started the tournament to watch them go in and attack. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone is like, love goals, let's be honest, you know. So they were always like, let's go in and attack. And I knew they were going to score at least, you know, one the yeah. goal that they deserve. And they were attacking, attacking. And people were like, oh, every time they get close yeah. to the ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, it was... I love it. It was, yeah, it was fun to watch. Yeah. And I think that's why I gave credit to them. Love Amazing. <laughs> Samuel, oh, I had Japan ahead. because... It's like you said, it's it's as though every single player on the field, didn't matter who they put on the field, mm. the like technical ability for every single player yeah. was it was it's not just a couple players, it's, it's not literally it's not like one of them is there's obviously some standout players, but every single player technically was was the best. Amazing. So no. good. Shout out Miyazawa for getting golden boots still. Yes. Yeah, she won a golden boot and she got yeah. knocked we, out yeah. that long ago. Yeah. Crazy. What a player. All right, these these questions. They're gonna be uh, they're they're a bit different, okay? Ooh, it's the pressure. Well. All right, stressful. The first one, you're gonna help us build your dream footballer. Yeah. So mm. it's gonna be right foot, left foot, speed, strength, football brain, passing, finishing, and flair. You're gonna pick a player Love for that. each of those things to make the best possible women's female footballer. Okay, so right foot. You can have played against them. You can have played with them. You can have watched them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, for right foot. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, like it's a hard question. It's, yeah, it's a very hard question. So, so any so player you think that has like the best right foot, oh, who would you? Yeah, sorry. yeah. So I you're building, to pick yeah, the you're best building, player you're building the has. best player. Okay, yeah. So like wait, who so has the best right foot? Right foot. Okay, the yeah. best right foot in like in the World Cup. In, any, the in the world, ever, ever, female, ever. It can Sam be someone Kerr. who's retired. Sam Kerr, Sam right Kerr. foot, amazing. Left foot, Jenny Hermoso. Oh, I love it. Speed, uh, Chwala. I said from Africa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. from Nigeria. Oh, yep, yep. Nigeria, sorry. yeah, yeah. Chwala, yeah. Oh, Chwala. good shot. Yeah. Uh, strength. Oh. It's hard to say because yeah. then you can be a big player. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, it has to be okay, not not too much. Um, um, I will say Bon Mati. No, 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 no. That's a bit. That's another choice for another. Yes. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um. 
I think that will be Caitlin Ford. That's Caitlin Ford, yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, football IQ, like football brain. Yeah, I think. Um, bon Mati, Mati, yeah. yeah. Well done. I think Good that save. one. Yeah. <laughs> Passing. Passing. Woo. Um. So many players. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. so like many. So many players. Passing. Uh, James. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Um, finishing. What finish air or head or just everything? Any? Everything. Everything yeah. as yeah. a the whole. The best finisher. Finishing. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we have the Japanese top goal scorer. Yeah. 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 Um. But I would say a great finisher, Sam Kerr. Yeah, Sam mm. Kerr. Yep. She is a great finisher and flair. And the flair, I love it, Marta. Marta. Oh, ah, I was Easily. waiting. I was yeah, waiting yeah, for yeah. her name to Where be. She, yeah. I, I was waiting it. for her name yeah. to come, and that's, that's the perfect moment yeah. for it. Um, okay, the next one. What is your favorite footballing moment of your career? If what you can it, pick right one, right now, your, my favorite. Your favorite from you. My moment. From your my life. Yeah, oh, from your yeah, life. My I'm moment. Sure got, I'm sure you've got. Uh, that. Yes, I have plenty, but one really special that I keep with me in my heart. In my memories, I think it's the one that we play Copa America. That was the tournament that you qualify for the World Cup. Yeah. So Chile did in 2018, and we played against Uruguay. And uh, we had to win that game. No draw, but only... Only win. Only win. We had no option. You have to win. So it was a minute 80, and then or oh, 82, 82 minutes. And I remember, you know, my teammate gave me a ball. Uh, cross from the right side, right winger. She gave me the ball into the middle, into the middle. I think it was in the just in the box, and I kick it one touch with my left to opposite side of the keeper, and that was was important because we qualified to the World Cup with that goal. It was Amazing. one zero against oh. Uruguay. Yeah. It was in Chile. It was obviously my national my, my national team, my family. Partner, we're all there. Oh, that's wow. amazing. So I think it's that moment that you say, perfect moment. Yeah. yeah. There's no perfect moment, but it was. That, you yeah. Know? And then it was. It was. I just remember after just to be just alive and calm and happy. <laughs> like Got goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. me too. That's Hopefully amazing. Hopefully we can get the video and we'll put it yeah, in. Yeah, we'll put a little the, clip of yeah, it into I the snippet. It, yeah. It. So even when I'm crying after. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll all be crying. I'm yeah. always crying. I'm always wow. crying. Okay. I love that she scored late as well. Yeah. Which makes oh, it even more dramatic. My sister was like, you have no idea. I was sick. I was yeah. Like, yeah. You know, my, my, my she brother. Done it earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, was like, she said, I stand up and I went cut there to walk with my nephew, he was a baby. And then she said, I could not keep watching because I have, um, what's the thing that you get here? Um, the pain? Like a- Heart attack? No. <laughs> like a <laughs> stitch. A know. stitch? <laughs> no, I don't know, but she was like- uh, <laughs> Like really anxiety? Angry. Like I was, I She was sick, like, <laughs> like she said, sick. because I could not handle the game. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> like I can't tell you she said yeah. she died she died I thought you were saying I wasn't saying an actual answer <laughs> <Like. laughs> yeah. it's the best and worst word. gastritis gastritis what? Get gastritis, is it? Oh, gas- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on the right page. Okay. Yeah. Right path. All right, now this <laughs> last one. <laughs> What's the one thing that you've done in your life, it doesn't have to be football, that you're most proud of and not that not that goal <laughs> just then. You have to do something different. But yep. something that you've done that you're most proud of and it doesn't have to be football. Um. Yeah, it can be football, but it doesn't have to be football. I think uh, what makes me, I have a lot of moments, but what makes me, I think, uh, not proud, but happy. And, and, and actually my heart is always full when I do that is to, is to help the young players, is to somehow by leading you encourage them and you motivate them and 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 it's just giving my passion actually and and what I've been through and my career and and sometimes yes you don't have to be the leader who talks but you know you that being the leader on the field and Example. off the field um, the person probably who I am and 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 who I represent and the values you 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 have I think for me I do sometimes co- do coaching and I do um do one one and I have my own academy but you know, to see those girls with a 
with the, so much desire and, and, and even the even though having that telling they telling me how much you know uh they learn or, or i inspire them i think it means it means a lot wow <laughs> that's amazing that's, that's, yeah. that's, so that's the best way to end it absolutely <laughs> that's the best way to end this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this oh season. amazing and i think that's what the world cup's been all about um i can't believe it's over guys nine episodes Wow. We're done. What an amazing guest. Thank you so much yeah. for joining yeah. us. You guys are great. It's I been guess. amazing having you here. So much wisdom. I hope you keep talking about, you know, the women's football. Of course. I hope we do coming, too. Definitely. Big things coming, coming, I hope. Coming. Yep. Exactly. And, yep. and I think it's important to be on board, not just us as a players, but I think we need the support of people because we play without fans. We are we're nothing, you know. You, exactly. and, and, and the fans, whoever are family, especially for women's families come to the studio and friends and supporters that we know usually, but it would be great to have more people on board. And, 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 well, and I hope hopefully now, they enjoy. Yeah, after the World Cup, you know, Cambry United games, people are like, oh, the girls are playing. Like, you know, I yeah. always go to the games. I want to bring my son now. And, you Canberra know. Canberra have a good crowd. They do. Like I and I hope it just keeps building do. and they can play in a bigger stadium. You know, maybe you guys will sell out Bruce Stadium soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, watch come, yeah. come back, come back watch to Canberra. Come back to Canberra. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, this has been the final episode of Centre Stage. What an absolute treat it has been to be here with you all over this this journey. Thank you to JD Sports for sponsoring this show for us. And, yeah, see you guys. Right. Thank, Thank you, you for everything. Thank you.